Rrr. I like that table right there. But I like that one over there. But that one right there is perfect. No, I like this one the best. I'm gonna eat your nose, Teddy. I'm going to throw poop at you, T-Rex. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Alright, we're going to take a look at these tiny tables and talk about them. We're going to talk about some tiny tables. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first table I got here to talk about is the Rio Adventure table. I purchased this guy on Amazon way back in May of 2016 for twenty dollars. Some reason it's not available to purchase today. Uh, I just looked at it, so when this video is posted, you can't get this exact one. Uh, there's a handful of them out there that are super, super similar, almost identical. Um, but. Uh, Let's go over the uh, good and the bad about it. It's got an 18 by 18 inch top, and it's a solid 16 inches tall. It's a great height for a lot of, for many of your camping tailgating chairs, your uh, and camping chairs, um, sports going chairs. Yeah, so these typical folding chairs, um, <clears throat> these guys, these little uh, lightweight compact camping chairs. Uh, borderline backpacking. Some people take like to take those backpacking. Um, uh, your tripod stool type chairs, and even these cool little guys, which I need to do a video on, that come expand down, come, uh, shrink down, and then expand all the way to a, a very nice tall height. No back to them. And you can adjust them just about anywhere in between. So, uh, those are really cool chairs. But, uh, the one chair that it doesn't really work well is your very low to the ground beach style chair. Uh, whether it's this one or some of the other ones. Uh, your, your low seating beach chairs. Not the greatest height of a table for, for that kind of a chair. That's why they made the beach tables. So we'll, we'll get that into this one in a second. Um, so this guy was 20 bucks back in 2016. Uh, very nice size for camping, tailgating, um, going to uh, sporting events, uh, you know, need a nightstand table uh, for whatever reason, an extra small little table. For whatever reason, great by the campfire to do all your uh, s'more marshmallow roastings and have stuff and have your drinks or whatever. Yeah, it's just a nice, very sturdy, com uh, yet still fairly compact table. The downside of it is it, this one particularly weighs 5.5 pounds. Um, some of them are a little heavier than that. They get up to about 8 or 9 pounds despite being not that large of a tabletop surface. Um square footage wise this this one's 18 by 18 so yeah that's kind of the downside is is that it's a little tall for some seating definitely not a beach uh, table um, and it's and it's a little bit more on the weighty side you know a little heavier but it is still fairly compact and goes in a nice little bag so that's it for this Rio table the next table we'll talk about is one of these little beach tables there's more than a dozen different companies that are making them all pretty much in the exact same style and design. Um, they uh, they are a little finicky getting together and coming apart seems to happen a lot easier than uh, than you want it to. Kind of you know, I always feel like every time I pick it up to move it somewhere, I've got to readjust the way it's put together and make sure that. Uh, all the parts are in the right position for it to stay together. Um, the uh, the positives to it is it breaks down the smallest and it weighs almost nothing. Uh, and they're dirt cheap. They're well, not dirt cheap, but uh, I mean they do sit pretty low to the ground. 
but <laughs> they're only 17 bucks for this one this one uh, they ranged from anywhere from 16 17 dollars was the cheapest right now that I could see on Amazon to about 25 30 dollars depending on which one you went with uh, they, again they're all made right about the same way same design uh, same shape and and, uh, and size and all that jazz um, and weight. Uh, this one was kind of the smallest or the the lightest weight and cheapest price that I could find on Amazon at the time at seventeen dollars and one point eight pounds. Um, has like a, a seventeen inches long by like eight eight and a half inches wide. The uh, it's only three, three and a half inches tall. So again, your low profile beach chairs, the one the chairs that sit low to the ground, it's a it's a great table for that. For these kind of chairs at, at a eight a 16, 15 to eighteen inch seat height, is awfully low to the ground. You're kinda of reaching there. T Rex would uh, would not be able to do that with his short arms, right? So, um the, another positive to the beach chair is uh, the legs. The the length of the legs, as short as they are, down towards the bottom, it's just the metal of the legs. And it's two prongs, and they're kind of wide. They, 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 it's, it sits solid in sand. Um, and there's no moving parts or pieces that are joining together at the bottom of the, of the legs. Uh, so as far as rust goes, if the paint wears off here, the finish wears off, it's just a matter of spraying and cleaning with the with the uh, um, wire brush or um, or one of those uh, Brillo pad things to get the surface rust off, and you can touch it up with some black paint, no problem. And it'll and these will last you for a really crazy long time. Um, they're they're good quality for definitely for being inexpensive, and they're fairly basic to put together. Super lightweight, fair price. Um, very compact. They work well for going to the beach. They work well with your low sitting um, beach chairs or like if you're going on a picnic and you're just sitting on a blanket. Great table to have for picnicking on a blanket. Right? So really good for those situations. Really bad for your larger chairs, your larger seating. It's just super low to the ground. Um, this guy is the happy in between. This is the Goldilocks winner, in my mind. So this particular uh, table is made by a company called Trekology. Uh, in doing all the research that I do on all the things that I buy, whether it's uh, uh, a $5 item or all the way up to a $5,000 item. Um, <laughs> I do so much research on stuff. Watch so many other YouTubers' videos on things. Um, so the Trekology one is freaking awesome. Everything that I watched, everything that I read, these are fantastic. And finally getting one, I already can agree. I think that these, this is going to last a really long time. It's made really well. It's super lightweight. Check this out. It is 1.8 pounds. The same weight as the beach table. Yet, yeah, look at the size difference. Look at the size difference. See the size difference? But yet, they weigh the same. How? What magical sorcery is up with this? I have no idea. But, it's 1.8 pounds. Uh, 20 bucks right now. Really good price. 20 bucks. 17 bucks? My adventure, Rio Adventure, the beefier one, was 20 bucks, and this one is 20 bucks. Right now, right now, well, two days ago when I bought it, from when this video is being done, and I hope to get this posted tonight. So, yeah, the, the weekend after Easter, uh, it's the Friday after Easter of 2023, 20 bucks on Amazon. All three were purchased on Amazon. I am not sponsored by Amazon. But, uh, yeah, great table. Uh, aluminum, all aluminum. The tabletop is, uh, is coated with a black paint, like a charcoal black 
color. It's not deep black. Um, but it's got a little bit of texture finish to it. Um, plastic caps on the edges. Uh, bungee cords that uh, are, are stayed attached to it. Um, watch Again, watch the assemblies of each of these at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, 20 bucks, 1.8 pounds. Uh, the dimensions of the tabletop surface is 13.6 by 15.6. And the height is 12.8 inches tall. So 12.8, the big one is 16.6, or 16, sorry. 16 inches tall for, for the big guy that I showed first. 12.8 um, for this guy, so a handful inches shorter. And then the beach one being that three to three and a half inches um, is what you're gonna find those at. Uh, yeah, so this guy to me is the Goldilocks one. It's kind of the it's the it's as lightweight as the beach one, but it's much lighter than the beefy Rio Adventure one. Um, the tabletop surface square footage wise is a little bit more than the beach table. And not that far off from the bigger adventure, Rio Adventure table. So, yeah, great size table, great height, uh, works with all your seating, every single one of these chairs. It's even not really all that tall. It's not all that big of a deal for in height for your, uh, for your low sitting uh, beach chairs or sitting on a picnic blanket. It might be a little tall for being on the ground. Uh, depends on how tall your torso is, I suppose. But yeah, it's it's a perfect in between. The only downside that I see in it, the only foreseeable concern, is that uh, I'd be worried and be well focused on if I took this to the beach. I would be a little concerned and worried that how many times at the beach is it going to be, despite my efforts and cleaning them up really good but the base here where the feet are in this plastic housing is pins that keep these uh, legs uh, joined up there rust 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 it's aluminum but we're talking about the damn beach on the east coast where there's an insane amount of humidity and moisture all the time everywhere I hate it <laughs> Um, yeah, so that would be my concern. Uh, I would not, me personally, will not be taking this one and using this one at the beach. Uh, but with it being, and, and it's, it's surprisingly compact. It's not quite as compact when, when it's in this bag as the, the beach table here. But it's real. it really is, it's compact and super lightweight for, for the size that it is and what you're getting here. Um, and it's a really good price. I think 20 bucks in today's time is a, is a good price point for what you're getting right here. Great table. Definitely my favorite. So, that's what I got for you. Um, hit the like. Uh, watch some other videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Oh, I'm so close. So close to 1K. Get me to 1,000, everybody. Would really appreciate that. No, that's okay. That's all right. If you if you don't, don't. I don't care. Um, but yeah. So the Trekology, check them out. I like it. I like this table a lot. Uh, we'll be using this guy a lot in the future. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. Appreciate it. If you want to see uh, a speed run of me. Uh, taking these guys out of the bags and putting them together so you see what that looks like for each one of them. Uh, that's about to start right now. First one, the Rio Grande. Or Rio Adventure, whatever you want to call it. Holes. 
into two pegs. Tabletop, stretchy, goes the opposite way into two pegs on each end, on each side, and there you go. Here's the, uh, the beach table. All one piece. And there you have it. And then here's the Trekology table. So you can see just a little bit bigger than the beach table. Have your top and your base. And same idea with the um, with the uh, large one, you kind of grab it from opposite corners, spread them out, and then it's got, these two guys are connected, and they click down, again, there's holes, and little pegs that they click into, you have to kind of just line them up, and they click into place, and I like how the top has the bungee cords. Kind of, kind of, it keeps it uh, keeps it folded up the way it needs to be, and then you have bars running on each of these ends. Again, not separate pieces; all is one piece. I like that how this guy is done to where they're all in one piece, and they also kind of just mash and click into place. on that bar. Sometimes it's kind of easier to see it upside down. Make sure that they're clicked into the right spots. And there you have it. Nice and sturdy. I like this one. I really like the Trekology. <laughs>